Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hey, I want to do a quick review on this uh, Craig Rip Cut that I just picked up. These, these run about $40, but um, I think it's going to be a very well spent $40. If you don't have a table saw and you, you need to cut or rip plywood, um, this is the tool that you need. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, um, I've taken all the, the parts out of the retail package here and I just wanted to show you what comes with the uh, Craig Rip Cut. You get a 24 inch solid aluminum rail, you have an edge guide, and you have the actual saw sled. So those are the pieces that come with it. To put this together, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. So the first thing you're going to want to do is there's a couple of self-tapping screws right here and there's a piece of tape over it. So if you come a little closer here, you can see, so I'll pull these out, pull this piece of tape off. And the way this goes together, as you can see, there's a couple of little plastic tips there and you just line them up with the rail get them in place, push down, and then your, your two self-tapping screws go top and bottom there. And all you need, like I said, is a Phillips head screwdriver. So we're gonna attach that. And the, like I said, these are self-tapping screws, so there you go. You have to put a little oomph behind them. And you want to make sure you get them in straight. So I'm getting a hurry, but do that. And there you go. You've attached the sled. And this is how that works. You just run it along the edge there when you're... So that's how that lines up. Now the next thing you want to do is you're going to attach the sled to the saw that you're going to use. Now the Craig has this set up where you can use either a left-handed blade or a right-handed blade and let me show you the difference so if if you're using a, the left blade you're going to put the blade in this slot and of course if it's right blade it'll be in this slot and i want to show you the two differences this is my Ryobi cordless saw and as you can see looking at it, the blades on the left okay and most cordless saws uh have a left-sided oriented blade on them this particular saw is my skill saw it is a corded saw and you can see the blades on the right. So whichever you want, if you're left-handed or right-handed, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm kind of ambidextrous, I can use either one. So depending on what I'm cutting to uh, which saw I'm gonna use. But for today and demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use uh, my Ryobi saw. So some of the things they tell you in the instructions is there's this little piece right here that you may need to turn over. And it's based on whether you have a flat edge here on your saw or some saws have a lip on them. This particular one is flat edged. I mean, <clears throat> excuse me, has a little bit of a lip on it. So what we're gonna do is just take your, you can just take your fingers really and push this piece out from the bottom. And you see how it's angled there. You're just gonna turn those ribs over and put it right back in place so that way it sits flat when you put the saw in. So when you're putting this in place here and attaching this sled, you wanna make sure that you have it pushed all the way forward. And it's a little awkward here showing you, but also I want you to see, you see how the blade is in the center of that? So the way you wanna do that is there's a line here on this one. I'm gonna line it up right like that. Then I'm gonna take this set screw, slide it over and just finger tight, put it in place there. And I can use a screwdriver on it too. And this one's gonna go here. And then I will put the set screws in with a screwdriver. And let's make sure you have these tight too on both sides. Do the set. And that attaches it to the sled itself. Now it's attached. What I was trying to show you here is like, you want to be able to lift your, your saw blade uh, safety cover up without it binding. So 
how to get it centered in this bottom slot here and then attach your two set screws like i said make sure they're tight on both places and that holds it in place there so that it doesn't come loose and as you can see there you go there the next thing i wanted to show you is that i thought was pretty neat that craig did here this is this is just like a little orientation block and one of the things they tell you to do is go ahead and just like take it out loose completely and there's a see there's a little nut right here on the bottom so just unscrew it till the nut comes loose and then flip it so there we go i flipped it around and stuck it back in the slot so you want to push it all the way up against this and this just so that you if you take your saw off of the sled you can keep the same orientation you don't have to go through this each time you can just slide it and know that it's it's in the uh, right position each time so you don't have to actually reset everything and then just tighten down on this set block so that's how it should be set up right, just like that then you can take your actual Flip that around where it's down and slide it onto the rail and then once you get it on the rail I'm just gonna set it at 21 inches here actually it tells you to slide it all the way in till it stops This is the the, clo the the closest cut you can make because it comes up and it stops on the stop here. So you want to do that. Make sure that's set. Now, <laughs> one of the things you do is you have this little um, piece up here, and I'm just going to loosen it so you can see it. And you see it has the red line on it. You want to make sure that line is lined up with the blade on the saw so that you get a good straight cut. Guys, I wanted to demonstrate this real quick. So you can't make a cut any more narrow than one inch. It's not recommended, but when you set it up, you'll see that one inch is as, as far as you can set it to the left. And I've got it set on one inch. I have the little red line here. If you see, it's also set on one inch on the, the uh, measure bar there, okay? So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna just give you a quick demo. This has a handle here for the edge gut so you can hold it with your hand. Use two hands. And you can see right here, I've done a couple other cuts. And I see, let me get my, just so you can see. And they're at one inch. So that's as narrow as you can go. You can go as much as 24 inches and you can see how it goes from one all the way to 24. No tape measure needed. All you have to do to set this, loosen it, slide it to the desired width that you wanna cut, you know, eight, nine, 10 inches, uh, you know, all the way up to, to 24 inches in width. So if you're ripping a full sheet of plywood, you know, that's all you need. Most people rip it right down the middle. So you set it on 24, you can just rip it. And then you've got two uh, eight, eight foot sheets, two foot wide. Um, makes it easier to load and handle in the pickup or your whatever you're carrying your stuff in. The thing I really like about this, this Craig rip cut is that you can take it anywhere. You don't have to to you know have power you if you have a cordless saw attach it to your rip cut you can take the rip cut to the, the work piece um, you know if you happen to be going to like a home depot or lowe's and, and you pick up a sheet and you want to cut it before you load it you can just cut it right there in the parking lot um, you can also use a you know a lot of people like table saws i have a table saw but i've specifically bought this rip cut for for jobs where i just need to make the same width cut numerous times 
and I want to set it and forget it. And with this, you, you can set it on, you know, if I'm cutting 12 inch wide pieces, I can set it on 12 inches and I can just one at a time cut and know that I'm getting a solid straight edge each time. And the width is exactly the thing. And I'll have to keep pulling out my tape measure and measuring. Um, $40 tool. I definitely recommend getting one of these if you do much woodwork or just, you know, any kind of little projects around the house. Uh, very handy. The good thing I do like about it too is once you've mounted this, if this were the saw you were going to use most of the time, all you have to do to take it apart just slides right off the rail. You can leave the sled attached to the saw, store it just like that. You got two pieces, easy to keep up with. Okay guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any comments, please put them in the comments section below. I answer all questions. Um, let me know what state you're in if you're watching this video. I'd like to know that too. Maybe put that in the comments section. Don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps me with YouTube. Let's them know to spread the video. Don't forget to share this with your friends and family and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe.